All right. Hello and welcome to this day on YV Television on Channel 33 and on the radio 11.7 FM. On our Facebook page, YV News, drop your comment and we will definitely find them for you. My name is David M. Wilson. Well, in our edition of this day, we want to look at the implementation around new law against child marriage and uh, substance bill um, from the office of the First Lady and look at the activity of the office of the First Lady, among other things. At the studio, I get with me, Usu Daddy Dajalo, and at the public um, relation officer or spokesperson office of the First Lady. Usu, welcome to the shop this day. Good afternoon, David. Yes. Thanks for having me. All right, and I also get with me um, Geoengineer Alusain Bangua, principal from the Ray, um, of Hope International Academy. And they have to talk about the academy and the new here, and, um, and also development among the academy as well. Welcome to the show, Geoengineer Bangua. Thank you. And Thanks for having me. All right, you're always welcome. So I'll start off with you, Su, um, from the office of the First Lady, um, a spokesperson. First off, um, the First Lady office will be the push for a very important bill, and um, which most people describe as um, transformation and, and, and changing narrative, more especially in, in protecting girl child. And I build we parliament above the um, um, child marriage, and uh, you know, Dandy over the years don't be serious challenge. We are in person with it below the age, the married, and um, you know, we need to stop the person in achievement, more especially the girl child. And the first lady office push for Dandy, and that bill don't pass in parliament. We are in, you know, for married anybody below the age. But how significant that push to be for the first lady and, and now that parliament approve them, uh, what does that mean for Salo? All right, David, thank you very much. Um, of course, like you rightly say, um, Sierra Leone, for the past couple of weeks or months, um, the parliament of Sierra Leone don't approve one of the most, one of the most important laws. We um, they for protect woman, sorry, they for protect girl picking them. Um, before I come to your question, you know, the premise would be like, you know, for far too long, we don't the struggle as a country for protect girl picking them. And for ensure, say, they get that kind of environment or that conducive atmosphere outside they grow, now the communities, the various societies, and go school, come out school, be the kind of people where they want to be or the kind of people that will come and support the development of the country. And um, one of the things that will be done, they affect girl picking them. For several years ago, now the aspect of early marriage. Women see families, guardians, or parents them, especially in some communities in Australia, can let for good and girl picking them, we don't reach the stage for good and Either at the age of 14, at the age of 12, at the age of 10, 11, as the case may be. And this to affect girl picking so much that it don't it don't put down the number of potential that we will get in our country as women. So the first lady um, see this as a very big challenge. Which will be done to do before this time, or which um, we don't get in our alone before this time. Now the aspect of advocacy. There has never been a day you come AYV, you go to any radio station, you hear people they talk say early marriage you not know, for the for tapa. But there has not been that call we. You know, we they, they take them to the laws of Sierra Leone. So the first lady come and say, let we not only limit this on advocacy. Let we ensure say we work with the house, we they make law in Sierra Leone, we are the house of parliament, the parliament of Sierra Leone. We get the powers for make law, reform laws, and um, as the case may be. So the first lady take a private member bill in the parliament. We are the prohibition of early child marriage 2024. This bill was sent to parliament by Her Excellency the First Lady and it gets support from different, different organizations in work collaboratively with the Ministry of Gender, Children's Affairs, and the Ministry of Social Welfare, and plenty other body them. But before it, be, before it was taken to parliament by the first lady, you see the first lady gets various consultative meetings across the area for talk to parents them, for talk to stakeholders them, traditional leaders them, for see the need 
for letting support this bill when once it is sent to Parliament. And we see how that bill, when it was sent to Parliament, and get the support of both parliamentarians from both the political arm of Parliament. And in fact, APC, we are the opposition political party. We are so supportive of this because this is not a political bill. This is not something we get for do with the protection of Galpi Kingdom. So it's very important for Sierra Leone because, um, like I say, before this time, the advocacy will be the get. But now, it has never been a time in Sierra Leone where we get a law where they put consequences, say, if you give Pekin when you reach the ages of 18 to my age, this will be the consequence. There has never been a time. So today, we don't move from just the mere advocacy, we be done the happy on the, the early marriage thing, to now going to parliament, Parliament making it a law and giving its consequences for anybody with default. So it's very important because God picking and now will get the fear again, say, we are reach the ages of 13 or we are in another environment day. Me mama, me papa, or me relative will take money from other man and send me to Namaidos. So that fear has been that challenge over that fear we God picking and beget. It will be that affects the education. Now the first lady with Parliament do ensure say and the people are really being and those are strongly and today we are having the, the, the prohibition of the early child marriage. The area of implementation also can be challenged sometimes in some of the good laws there are we um, as a country would get and this is very important um, but also even though the law don't be passed and parliament to approve um, implementation is very important and more especially um, parents for understand that this is a law and false pains we know for condole that mm -hmm. you know sometimes you know uh, the beginning law can get the issue you know but we all know if you didn't below the age you're always listening to your parents even though you don't pass the the, the age you also listen to your parents and the parents also get a pivot towel for play into um follow you able for for pool you know early child marriage you know more especially um to the regions but how far we don't go in creating the awareness raising for people to understand that us parents will get a responsibility for play into this following before donor um david the implementation of this law is basically not just the first lady did one this is a law for CLA. everybody no matter how they are um, we need to get the concerted effort for ensure, say, even though it is now a law, but let us enforce it to the latter. You are the community, the media, government, and non government organization. Now we have responsibility. And the government of President Bio, President Bio is very, very serious for ensure, say, in continuing for giving best for protect women and girl picking in this country. Now I make the first lady in a complementary role to her husband, day in and out. In the ensure in continue for supporting husband. The awareness has been there. Like I tell you, this is part of the offspring of the hands of our guards. Remember when Fatima, Dr. Fatima Madabi was became first lady in Sierra Leone in 2018. When her husband was elected, automatically she becomes the first lady of Sierra Leone and bring the hands of our guards. We part of the hands of our guards now for end child marriage. And if this don't become a law, now the picking the way the hands of our girls don't burn, the, the, the good things the way the hands of our girls don't burn. So the awareness, the advocacy, the education and the knowledge about the end of early marriage, not just starts today. It started six years, five years ago, now making it six years. So, and again, you don't see how the first lady and the, the office of the first lady and plenty other partners then, don't they move across this country. In every district, there has never been a town in this country where the first lady not visit for distribute sanitary parts. In that distribution, they talk to Kumbra and say they not forgive them picking them to early marriage. In that distribution, they tell Kumbra and say they not for allow them picking them for falter in education. So the awareness is there. The office of the first lady will continue for rally around necessary bodies them, necessary government apparatus them. For CC will continue for push this. Again, this is a law. This law has been engineered. This law was facilitated. This bill was sent to Parliament by the First Lady. Mm -hmm. And it has become a law. The gain of this now for Sierra Leone, now every Sierra Leonean, no matter who you do, where you see, say, they want to give begin to marry before the age of 18, now you write as a Sierra Leonean for support this law. How you go support them? For ensure, say, where you see them problems there, so they happen. You report to the necessary, the necessary body. You get the police. The office of the first lady is not the law of Sierra Leone. I can see plenty of people that they see we rape, we then when they get an issue of sexual penetration, they, they run kind of the office of the first lady. The office of the first lady is not the law. They already they are they are bodies. They, they get an organogram mm -hmm. where they work with them body there. So the first lady only they ensure in using space as first lady.
for continue for protect Pekinem, Gal Pekinem even the more. And for CSA, their organization, their bodies there, so the police, the family support units, and other bodies we responsible for the judicial protection to them Pekinem, do them in a very quick process. So the first day they always ensure. So the aspect of how we, we they implement this, the implementation is already there. President Bill, they ensure, say, remember when the Hands of Our Girls was launched? It became it's an emergency. It's the President Bill law, uh, declared it of emergency on rape. That means that you see, government is very, very serious about the issue of girl picking and protection. And you see sexual offense cuts, it cuts them cut across this country. And again, we've had this law. Wait, that day, the issue of early marriage will be very difficult for them. Now, because you see the customary law, they talk something. These other acts, they talk something. But now, this to harmonize all of this together and don't make any consequences. So now, if you keep picking to marry, you know, 18 years, it, the law say you for pay not less than 50 million or you go not less than 15 years. Or as the case may be, you go both the consequences. So we are Sierra Leoneans them. This has, this has been given to us by the first lady. Now we now for use this and show so we rally around the communities, continue to make the awareness. The first lady is everywhere. Quite recently, a few days ago in Bidik, Kono, they talked to the people of Kono about the importance and the relevance of this law for ensure so every community, not a political community, enough for, enough for put politics by this, this is for the development of Sierra Leone. So the implementation government is very, very serious and also all partners will work towards this bill becoming a law. Very, very serious for implement this. The, 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 the tablets them also get school for play. Exactly. Uh, so, play. So, so, so one of the successes, we, one of the things we don't bring huge success to the first lady, where people can say, any two Fatima, Mada, Biyo, Putan, Pai, they become successful for girl picking them. Not so because they do them alone. They do them with the blessings of tribal heads. When the hands of our girls was launched in 2018, you see the first lady go now every community in this country, every district and bring together traditional leaders, the paramount chiefs, the section chief, the clerks of different communities, the, the, the Okada riders, the Keke riders, they're all together and hand over the hands of our girls campaign. So today, if we get law, we prohibit early marriage, we'll be under the hands of our girls. Now, because the first lady, the hands of our girls is successful. And why is it successful? Because it involves community ownership. It make the hands of our girls become something we're now a community owned, community driven, and the will of the people is ever ready for support sending day. So again, the Paramount Chiefs were ready. I tell you initially, say before it's, this bill was sent to Parliament, the first lady gets consultative meetings with all Paramount Chiefs in this country, all traditional leaders, and all communities. And it gets the will of the people. So one of the reasons we make the deal not even did in our parliament now because people we are looking forward to this, parliamentarians we are ready for this, and Sierra Leone we all be ready for protect girl picking in this country. We'll call look at subsequent um, bill stem and also activities now the office of the first lady. But I come to you, Joe Engineer and Bangura, yeah. where the principal for re, um, of Hope International Academy. And um, give, give me a background, you know. Um, um, the role uh, and also how important is the um, of hope international academy okay thank you david um the way of hope international academy my new school where they welcome in inaugural class um by september this school in alunge close to um the new freetown international airport now a town where then they call Faithful Kankumodu. So, we have Hope International Academy come for support um, the president and the government um, in the educational sector. We have Hope International Academy, they offer um, education for all streams, all faculties. But for this um, academic year, we, we will start by September. We only start with GSS 1. And SSS one. Why we want to do this? Now in your academy, we come for the quality education. And one of the few educational institutions at secondary school level where they offer robotics and artificial intelligence. And we also get science laboratories for all science subjects, the chemistry, the biology and the physics. The school they are very strategically positioned um, environment. Mm -hmm. We also get uh, CCTV cameras um, with parents and they able access within the app and around the school campus. And also we get 
CCTV cameras inside the classroom or we really part of the administration for able to monitor adequately what is happening inside the, the, the classrooms or prevent the issues where in, um, teachers will go inside classroom and begin to talk about Manchester, Arsenal and all of it. Mm -hmm. So you, you as a teacher know that when you go inside the, the, the classroom, not for good teach and you'll be supervised. You know, say eyes are on you, so you do the right thing. So we get uh, also facilities like uh, for this year, we they, we they give bicycles to students um, where they cover long distances. We they, we they, we they give priorities to students where they come off from afar. Mm -hmm. So if I can give um, an overview of mm -hmm. the school, I believe that's it. You know, recently, and um, there was a post, you know, on social media, you know, for a school away from the country's capital city, um, I think it's around Waterloo, um, towards IND, you know, they do extremely well, more than some of the schools them with the, not, not the city. And, and most people on the call that we need to forget improve school stem away from the city, like Lungi, uh, Waterloo, other places as well. But how significant and how strategic, you know, the ray of hope, International Academy um, position himself na um, Lunge in terms of, you know, changing the face of education in other parts of the country? Well, not only exactly the ray of hope, International Academy, they are about. Um, when we start this, Marse, the proprietor, we start this dream with uh, Mr. Alaji Osman Kamara. Um, uh, he ensure that he work closely with the, the traditional and religious leaders in Malungere. Even when we do the, the traditional opening of the school, the paramount chief Bindede, and the paramount chief don't support we all through, because that's somebody we also value education. So having Ray of Hope International Academy in other parts of the country is very good. And I think, say, the people of Lunge and Sierra Leoneans in general, we all need to embrace this one because for make we get schools, we get very good science laboratories in the provinces is, is very challenging. Of course, in Alunge, we get good schools. Mm -hmm. We get the, the St. Augustine, we get the Amadea. We don't make national results in the past. But we they come for introduce the aspects of digital learning, robotics, and artificial intelligence into the educational system, which is a big boost for this country as a whole, not just for talk about the provinces. Yeah, the, 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 the importance about the facilities, and it's very important. And you know, understand somebody will tell me the last time, say, um, we education system, despite there are a lot of improvement, but also facilities also is a challenge, more especially um, the science department, you know, and we, we still lacking behind. Um, but with all of them facilities and the, you know, within the, within the, within the academy, how that they came for transform more especially we innovation area you know um, in, in terms of creativity in terms of technology in terms of um, as a nation moving forward and um, in terms of a transformation towards a better quality education well um, all of these things that you don't mention now that's real hope international academy they about of course as I, as I say earlier we we they offer um, education for all areas, but we are focused especially on sciences. Mm -hmm. And for we, um, uh, now a st um, students driven learning, we are in with a position with students and at the center of everything mm -hmm. what we do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, they, we they help students them for develop the aspects of critical thinking mm -hmm. for make them able to solve real life situations. For, for example, the aspect of robotics, we 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 they bring in robotics kits. We are in students and they will build simple robots. They will learn the, the mechanics behind it, the technology and the programming. So all of this is very important for we country in in, the, in educational development. Administration, um, um, you know, generally it's, it's very important in, in, in to warning of the school. Um, but how the process get for look like in terms of if somebody want for enroll into the, the academy and um, is that starting from, from one to from three as a start or 
how it gets to look like generally? Well, um, forms, forms them in the out. They, we've been pull forms them where we recently don't close. Um, but hopefully we get to reopen the, the forms also. We, we, like I say, they start with GSS1 and SSS1. Mm -hmm. Why we want to do this? We don't want to take um, uh, students away that are already trained uh, to on to the levels of GSS2 and 3 because we get a standard for maintaining. Mm -hmm. Taking from other schools now, Lord say, okay, we now in new school we want to forget a lot of students and all of it will be damaging to we. Because the students that we really take from other schools, we don't know the standard way and day. But for the one that we really get from GSS one, we need to be trained with the standard of the school and we know say at the end of the day they will perform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for now, we really start with GSS one and SSS one. Okay. And as the years they go, so we get other classes. Okay. So if somebody wants to enroll at the school, when are the process? You get a form. When you get a form, you fill them. We by next month, maybe mid next month after NPSC results, and probably because I don't start, I mm -hmm. think today, yeah. and maybe soon, a month or half, then also then go, then um, results will be out. So. We go look based on the national performance and we go get a cut off grade because of course we really look for maintained standards. Mm -hmm. So by then ten and day we can call for interviews and we do them the normal way. Okay, Joe, um engineer will send Bangor. I'll come come back to you shortly and we'll call look at the operation um, of the um, Ray of Hope International Academy um, Nalungi as well. And um, let's come back to you, Usu. Uh, you know, I mean, a lot of activities in the office of the First Lady. And it's I think the First Lady be the out of um, the, the city and the other provinces, um, like you mentioned, um, on the advocacy and, and still the carry on any work. So generally, you know, what's on the upper the office of the first lady so far with with other bills them we assure the office will have a push for see our best um you know girl picking them and women them go benefit in the country. So um David, we get a first lady in Sierra Leone. We not ever experience a moment of fatigue when it comes to the empowerment, the protection or the development of women and girl picking them as I alone. This woman, any minute of the day, she is ever ready. Um, so, we activities at the office of the first lady. This is not a small office, but they do wonderful things. We don't ensure, see, in fact, we don't do, the first lady don't do so much more that we've never experienced that kind barrage of opportunities where the first lady don't push for women and girl picking ever since we start to get first ladies in Sierra Leone. Um, yes, when you talk about issues, we have to protect women them. We therefore develop girl picking them. For ensure, say, we get a country where equally women them, they, they, they support development of Sierra Leone, like how man they did one. Quite recently, on the 1st of June, the first lady be launched with an equal campaign where we see first ladies from across different countries come salon. You know, David, when you get a first lady we so passionate about women and girl picking them, where they set the bar high, where they transform the definition of a first lady, you will find out say many other countries across around the globe go one for can be party to salon. When the first lady be launched with are equals campaign, uh, we see different first ladies that we come. The first lady of Nigeria, the first lady of Liberia, the first lady of Angola, the former first lady, and a host of eminent personalities. Women the way every woman they admire. They were here in Sierra Leone. We are equal campaign simply means say, the opportunities we man then they get in education for access quality health in employment, and plenty other things then. Women themselves, equally, when given the opportunities, can do more. I remember during the launch of that We Are Equals campaign, somebody asked His Excellency the President, he said, did they talk about women them? 
But when you talk about war situations, when you talk about war in, in situations where they get for fets in a country, so the man they get for involved, somebody asks, say, why women are not involved? And the person said, no, women have been involved in situations where they have to do with military in the country. We have, for the first time in the history of Sierra Leone, women now who are even more promoted in the military than any other time because the environment has been there. So for activities we have to do with protection of women and girls picking them, we can sleep today, Monday, tomorrow we are here and see the first lady perhaps don't take another bill to parliament. We have to do the protection of women and girls picking them. Like I say, the issue of women and girls empowerment, the issue of girls um, development, this is a woman who only ever experienced a moment of fatigue. She has been around the clock. Like I say, the issue of the awareness of this bill. One key importance, where this is the key to we as a country. Now the fact say, me and you know David for the longest time. You can imagine waiting 12 years old picking do I mean, what can she contribute? Namaidos. In a woman married to man with five times or 30 times in age, what can she contribute? So if we don't put this challenge with the support of Sierra Leoneans them to an end, you define now say the girl picking themselves, they able to grow in a community way, all of them will focus on our education. All they would want to be now for be like Fatima Madabio, for be the silver blindings of this world, for be world model, women they will don't, don't contribute immensely to society. And this is the cause of the first lady. So today we go sleep, tomorrow we are here and say the first lady don't mount another campaign for the protection of women and girl picking them. That is something that will happen every other day because when you talk about women and girl picking them, this night woman who even in the middle of the night, she wants to engage. She wants to talk about women. She wants to talk about girls. Again, it is a blessing for Sierra Leone because since we begin politics, since we gain independence, since we begin get first lady, this is the first lady for the first time in the history of Salon where they reach even the people. Where if she's more grassroots, she's people centered, I can say she's women centered. Where they ensure she, everything but woman then. Support woman in education. Today, as I talk to you, so she's constructing an ultra modern hospital. Millions and millions, over hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, Salon, this is not government funded. This is part of the first lady initiative for rally around the world to people who matter for support health care in Sierra Leone. And she's, if the, when that hospital go down, down construction, when it go down, down that hospital, if not the best, it could be one of the biggest hospitals in West Africa. We get for do it. Everything we woman again. We never forget victims of rape. We never for descend again far, far places. We get speaking with them born. We get um, serious health challenge. We never say again, can go Ghana, can go. The first thing is constructing a, a hospital now where they take care of all of them in them day. It's a blessing for Sierra Leone. Follow get a woman we ensure say in time, you know, they use them on glamour, you know, they use them on luxury, and they use them for protect women and girl picking them. That's a blessing. And for the woman them and for the girl picking them, we they don't be victims of early marriage. I feel say the one that self will can now, there is a protection already. Like how we don't get protection for the issues of rape. Rape still happen, but the rate at which they happen to how they happen to the in far minimal. So these are the things we are talking about. Having a first study way, they ensure say in Ghana, every community, Kubola, the farthest community in this country, for tell girl picking and say, if he can be first lady and do them to you also, that picking self food in the last village, if given the opportunity for educate and forget the right kind of education, she'll be more than even what she is today. So now this is the first lady believing and this is what she has been pushing. So today, we go sleep today on Monday. Tomorrow we are here and say the first lady don't go and knock other doors for count even more heavy protection for women and girl picking in this country. And that is what we want to see as a government. Mm -hmm. And that is what we want to see as a people of Sierra Leone. All right. I'll come back to us. But let's come to Joe Engineer um, Bangura from the um, Ray of Hope International Academy. And so basically, let's talk about the, um, the format in terms of... Um, somebody want for enroll in the school. You initially you spoke about um, you, you buy your form, you fill them, and you get access for go through the procedure. So what are the process, you know, for, for go through all of them procedure? Is it a form for sale or is something you know, I can give out to people? Or if somebody want for enroll to the school, you get access for, for get the form? And all that's being to quality. 
you know, in terms of the one them we didn't hold at the school um, as well? Well, um, forget the form, you get for buying. We, we school address now, uh, they are on Army Silver Street. For the one way they lunge, some people already don't purchase forms. You understand? You go to the school campus, somebody they are really in charge of the forms, you you buy the form, then you take them home. Things in the way you need for put inside the form, we already they inside the form. Like you became a copy of him, um, uh, birth certificates, passport pictures, the, the progressive report card, and also for the Beken um, exams and the NPS exams, we they require parents them for add the results to the end and day because now then we will also use for for do the interview. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you talk about the the academy get for the head in terms of you know supporting some of the picking away they come up from a far distance, yeah. like for help them with bicycle. So even if they come up like. Um, driver, it would take like one or two hours, but you for each to time, you know, for, for each school. But what's in a situation somebody out of, you know, what's a little like free town here, and you want for an rule at the school? Uh, you know, I know you're not going to be the same facility, but also any consensus in terms of if I did not turn I want for an rule for, for, for be part of the, the academy school. How we get for the look like, you know, for the individual and the way they away from, from um, Lungi as well? Yeah, well, part of the reason why we they host some of these programs on TV, now for me, we create the awareness so that people within other parts of the country, like Freetown and afar from Lungi, can also get the message because this is a new school. You understand? But Lungi, now, an area we not turn like free town. We are in for make you get a place for stay, you have to go through agents and you spend money. We all know mm -hmm. how it happen here in a free town. Probably at times and can eat you money and you not know, even see the kind place where you want. Mm -hmm. But for Lunge you can get a very decent house for a very reasonable cost. So people we want move um, we want and picking them for be part of this academy can always move and get a place in Alunge Day, we are in the Nogo Day, too far from the school. Mm -hmm. So then we will access this facility because this one is huge and it will be very good for make everybody embrace this opportunity mm -hmm. and be part of this academy. So, uh, you know, I know the, the, the academy probably going to look at, say, you know, there are a lot of opportunities for, you know, picking out in the, in the city, but let we also support the one with the another part of the country, Lungi. Um, is there any concession for uh, the one with the Lungi, you know, for, for letting them get the opportunity to have be part of the academy? Of course. Well, um, like I say, Lungi people, um, say most of them already know about this academy. Mm. It's, it's the talk of Lungi now. And uh, people looking for get a school, they really do robotics, get robotics, AI labs, you get computer labs, and I can tell you, <clears throat> the classrooms that we get today, they are well furnished, and get um, ceiling fans and ACs. We get projectors now, all the classrooms. You understand? Mm -hmm. So this is huge to make you get a school like this, and then parts the day of the, of the country. So people in Alunge already embrace this. But not only for Alunge people, this school is for Sierra Leone. So, we want to encourage people from other areas also for come and be part of um, this academy and this development where the proprietor they try for 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 bring to to the people of Sierra Leone. The moving into technology is 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 key among um, uh, within the government of present build on a push for over the years, and the president keeps saying about human capital and human human capital is about transformation we are in we're moving into the technology age yeah. and as a nation we still lack behind and and you agree with me they are even university students we also they get challenged for even use um, computer and, and and other technology um, aspects as well what does this transformation mean into the education sector as a nation um, that will get you know school we you know Pay attention into technology and want for see that transformation. They, you know, everybody at the end able for benefit from it. 
Okay, this goes back to the proprietor in, in the game. At some point, me and Zubi sit down, they discuss. They tell me about a time when a day in a class of um, 100, you imagine they, how you were able to focus and maybe take something home in such a classroom. So, I think, say, um, a good need for contribute into this country in educational system by establishing an institution for learning where students and they get an environment where they match international standards. And a key priority for, for this particular school are the aspects of digital learning and technology. So if, if you they listen to everything where I don't say, you, you see say this school is into technology, you understand? And coming to your question where you talk about how this go help transform we, we country. Mm. Of course, we, we I can agree with you, say, we get students and we don't graduate, where they come into the workforce, they don't even know how to use basic Excel or Word properly, you understand? For we, we do we don't put aside, even for those we go come out now other schools for GSS, from GSS3 for coming in to SS1, then for already don't get a background on these basic software packages. Apart from the, the interview where we go, we will test them in the area of academics, we also need to test them into these areas. Because we want for change in narrative. We are in students who don't pass through this academy for able to prepare a PowerPoint presentation at junior secondary school. Do you understand? On their own. And do a presentation. Because all of the classrooms then get this facility. You understand? Mm. So if somebody don't pass through an, acad an academy like this, they never find it difficult na, na, na the university. And they never even find it difficult when they come into the workforce. Mm. So this is huge for this country mm. in educational transformation. You know, the, the government's a push for um, a less number in, in classroom. You know, we very important the 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 classroom environment also very important. You know, the concern that in terms of the number of the the picking area for the inside the class because it's also very important. We are in some schools, you get about 50, 60 students. Um, they they are the class at the, at the end if even if the teacher they teach from a point, the, the even the students them not even hear or, or even understand what the teacher they teach. In the concept that in terms of the number of the, the picking up for the other class. Absolutely. Now some people we don't get, give very serious thoughts. And uh, for this academic year in fact, we only need two hundred and fifty students. The whole school. The whole school for, for SS one and GSS one. Mm -hmm. And we get adequate class, uh, uh, classrooms and we get adequate spaces for that, for that number. Mm -hmm. We are in the class now will be congested. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now, now, now that comfort in the, in, in the learning environment, now you really try for, 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 for enhance. Now you make we get classrooms where, as I tell you, you imagine in Sierra Leone now you get a school we are in, we the inside class, you get ceiling fan or you get AC inside the classroom, this is huge. So comfort can go with learning. It gets a long way where they push you. You know, the inside classroom, the place hot, you understand. Yeah. Or inside you sit down, you don't even see, or you don't hear it because you're not inside class. So all of these things are things that we don't consider, and uh, are things that we intend for change. Mm. All right, that's good. So. Um Admission still open, and you say we don't close, but you get intention for for open and back so that um, you know and I can get more intake. Yeah, uh, yeah. When would they expect that, and 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 how we get for look like? Well, in the next one week, we they look at opening admissions, but they get for do be, be mostly for we we back here students and mm -hmm. because people in the call here and they are oh we know we know about. The, the fact say forms we are out and all of it. So I encourage people then for following of Hope International Academy on the Facebook page. We get um, an Instagram handle, LinkedIn, and other other all social networks. Just look for Way of Hope International Academy. Then you can follow within and with whatever we do with the post and the way we need 
adverts or even teachers will post and they when forms are out, you can get the necessary information. So whatever we, we will get for do with regards to forms, we will post them on our Facebook page. I believe almost everybody they use Facebook. Yeah. So you, you will know exactly when we go we will get forms out again. But soon we they, we they reopen the forms. The cost of forms? The cost of forms now at five hundred thousand. Okay. Years. All right, yeah. all right, and um, uh, welcome back to you, Joe Engineer um, Bangura, as we um, try for, for round off um, this segment. Um, welcome back to you, also, um, spokesperson office of the First Lady. And generally, we don't see the achievement from the office of the First Lady in terms of pushing and uh, for our best human and girl picking them go before. For for able for achieve, which they want to achieve as a nation. Over the years, we don't need lack beer, and most women would say, say we are not protected. Girl picking would say, say we are not protected, but we don't see since the first lady, um, there are a lot of protection for 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 girl child, and we even see the the, the when the rape being being take the center stage in this country, we see the president declare um, as as an emergency and, and even a court. Um, before that, and we don't see it only minimize, and and you know, and the president, the internal meeting, say, um, you know, their 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 session, their their particular um, people, you know, we seem for still the carry on 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 that aspect, say, and he say, they not for forget say there are laws, you know, we see if you, if you continue for for do that, there are tendency for you. You, you, you face the full penalty of the law. And we don't see um, the law, the work, in terms of rape issue in this country. Um, but how the first lady, you know, in office, will continue for push, for the way we forget the laws, they are be effective, and the laws, they are continue for the best people and we would not found one thing, and other improvements in terms of um, more projects, programs for, for women and girls picking out the country. Okay, so um, David, uh, the first lady, Dr. Fatima Madabio, now the mother of the nation. And as a mother of the nation, in the carry within, within itself, all the concerns, the burdens, the pain, the grief of women and girls in Sierra Leone. All the theory for do with say they have not been protected. These are concerns with day in and out. The first lady they feel the burden. I remember one of the days in they tell me say um, in, in, in passion we in get for girl picking. Like even when they walk around the street for going to office, we can pass and see girl picking and they tot water for selling a treat. And say and want for speed up for ensure say all lengthen in the be a thing of the past. That every girl picking, you want every girl picking as a alien, you know for be deprived of education. You know for be deprived of quality health care. You know for be deprived of the basic necessity where other countries then get. So equally for in girl picking them, incredible girl picking them, you want for let all picking as a alien be just like her incredible, incredible daughters. So when you talk about protection, when you talk about care and concern, it carry the outrage because she knows as a mother what it means now being the mother of a nation. So with the implementation or how it will continue for work with the government, for continue for advocate within the larger space in the world, for let's say you gain more attention and more opportunities. She, it is an everyday practice. Mind you, David, we not only get a first lady of Sierra Leone, we get a woman who is working with the United Nations in an enviable position mm -hmm. as one of the few people in the world who they advise the United Nations on zero waste management in the world. We get a first lady who not only be a first lady of Sierra Leone, but now part of the United Nations environs road safety in the world. So we are blessed in Sierra Leone in diverse ways. We have a woman who is a woman for Sierra Leone, who is, done, who is doing a lot for Sierra Leone, but also the world, they call her more for doing many things. And away from just being that, we don't see how Indo advocates for women, not just for Sierra Leone,
but for women around the world, around the globe. Today, if the world they commemorate November 18 every year, mm. now because the first lady took the advocacy to the United Nations. As the first first lady, the wife of a sitting president, we don't ever address the United Nations and ask for a resolution which was passed immediately. That tells you, see, we have a first lady who has been seen in the world as a serious person. We get woman and girl picking at heart. Recently, she has been awarded, given awards upon awards. She's been invited into prestigious universities in the world for lecture and tell other countries, other first ladies, how they for work with government or how they for use the hands of our girls in Sierra Leone. Now, you see other countries in the world say don't get hands of our girls because they don't see how the impacts don't they. You see other, for other countries, the other first ladies, they give free sanitary parts because they don't see how then they don't benefit girl kingdom. So she's always ready. Within the time she has as a first lady, anything we ever do with, I mean, this is not the, I mean, before she became a first lady, Fatima Biu was in the movie industry. We see when that in little women they get from the movie industry, mm -hmm. how they support women and girl picking in Asaya Leon. Now she's a first lady, even in a more bigger platform. Even beyond or after becoming being first lady, this woman will continue to do everything for women and girl picking in. So the issue, the aspect of continuity for continuity for ensure in push for women and girl picking there. Like I said earlier, this woman, when you talk about the issue of girls and women, she has never experienced a moment of fatigue. Like somebody really asked um, one woman a question the other day. A deprived woman where in girl picking them, they don't rape them. In picking the women born. At an early age, she was raped. And they become a teenage mother. And in get for struggle for taking care of in picking them, when the man self with can marry her in Giambele, they abandon her. She was like, the only thing with Fatima mother be you, no give woman and girl picking at this country. Na ticket for go heaven. But everything when you have to talk about protection, health care, access to quality health, and for make sure she girl picking them. When President Bill launched the free quality education in bring the hands of our girls and bring the distribution of sanitary pad for complement present day efforts for retain girl picking in a school. Remember I say we girl picking in ten and day, sent by the month, one week in only go school because it ain't in a messy period. And again, schools and only talk about that. In most communities, parents are not able to afford sanitary pad. So they pick it ten for go to locally used products where they end up for getting sick at the end of the day. They not be getting but today you see girl picking even during the mess cycle they, they go to school because you get a first lady we say go to school no matter the situation. My husband is paying your fees. Let me support you with the free the, with, with pads and ensure say I support the school for make them make uh, menstrual hygiene or then hygiene discussion they continue for flow in our school. So when you talk about Galpi Kinem, she's always ready. She's always ready to knock at doors, government support. And again, the first lady has been doing all of this because we get a president. We're very serious. What's in the first lady to do now? A reflection of the seriousness of government or a reflection of the seriousness of President Bill. If President Bill was not serious about empowering women, we never don't get a first lady where they push around the world with this speed and this pace. But because he opened the doors, on arrival doors, for, her, for, for, for his wife, when are the first lady, we don't find out the other first ladies themselves, other presidents in other countries, self, they take example to President Bill, how they open doors and how they push a woman for support women and girl picking them. And that is how it should be in Sierra Right, and uh, June Nelson Bangua, and from the um, Rio of Hope International Academy, as we close, what's in the message to Syrians? And I know there are a lot of people probably go on for get contact and, um, you know, um, for the follow up in terms of um, go through the process. Um, I think my final message to viewers go be for make people grab this opportunity. Because, um, <clears throat> to be very honest, we get few schools at the provinces, and inside Freetown here, we get very good science laboratories. And we also we will, hand, we will count the number of schools and where they offer robotics, and where they incorporate artificial intelligence and other digital learning means into the education system. So it will be good for make everybody embrace this opportunity. As we get few spaces for this academic year, the forms them will be reopened in a week's time. May them come in and get the forms 
and they part of this transformative development where, where the proprietor they try for give to everybody. Also, let them follow we, we on Facebook and other channels, and then we'll get more updates on whatever we they do at the school. So I think that will be my final. Yeah, I also want to go follow up, following up. Um, on, on in our Facebook page. Is it a Ray of Hope? Yeah, Ray of Hope um, International Academy okay. on Facebook. Okay. I believe Facebook, almost everybody yeah. uses them. So you can follow me on the Facebook page and you will get updated with everything we really we do. All right. Um, thank you very much, um, Geo Engineer um, Alusan Bangura, Principal for the Ray of Hope um, International Academy. Also, um, in 30 seconds, your message. Um, my message to Sierra Leoneans on behalf of the First Lady of Sierra Leone, now for continue for ask people for support and push and make sure that they utilize this law. Stop for Gi Pekin when reach 18 it. To marriage, allow God Pekin for land book. Let us have more Fatima mother bills in the future. Thank you very much. Also, Dadida Jalo, you know, the spokesperson office of the First Lady and uh, Geoengineer Alusan Bangura, principal for the Ray of Hope. Um, International Academy um, as well. Many thanks to you gentlemen for being part of the show. Well, that's all the end of this edition of Unis and Coins Affairs show this day. And uh, many thanks to the production and technical team. This day will return again tomorrow, same time, um, on EYV TV. My name is David Yebo Wilson. Bye for now. <laughs>